Okay, fellas, a little something, uh, a little something showed up today at the front door. It is a huge package, which has made it all the way from China. You can see by the wood framing, this thing, uh, this thing means that I'm pretty excited to crack it open, and I'll, uh, I'll set up the camera before I, uh, before I get to it. But uh, it arrived today. A little wet from all the uh, snow outside, but I'm excited to open it up and uh, see what we got. As you can see, one thing that uh, this packaging does do very well is make a huge mess. So I highly recommend opening it somewhere uh, a little further away from your carpeting. Uh, otherwise you're gonna have a big, big disaster on your hands. cow. This thing is huge. Parts are heavy. It's metal. They're not fooling around. Those are nice. This is the base. I can see a power wire hide, hiding right under there. Um, wow, base is actually really nice. The paint works better than I expected. To be honest, I thought it was going to be pretty rough. And it was going to need a lot of detail work, but it just uh, looks pretty good. Let's get that out of there. And let's bring it around and get a look here. Here's the T2. The base, not bad, not bad at all. This thing is heavy as hell. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. So I've got to tell you, I am thoroughly impressed. Just the weight of this thing, you know, metal's cold against your hand. I mean, it feels like it is built uh, uh, really, really well. As you can see, they closed up what I thought was a drill hole in the arm, but that appears to be closed up now. Let's get around to the front of this guy. And his quality just looks top notch. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. The teeth, as several people have discussed before, leave a little something to be desired. Probably an area that could use a little bit of uh, maybe a little grime in here up top to hide some of that buck tooth look, but uh, that's a quick, easy touch up. Let's get him on the base and see uh, and see how he looks. There's a little uh, wiring harness on the back of the base, which looks like it plugs into the upper body. And that probably allows uh, everything to power up nicely. These little fellas, I believe, go here, though 
Both have a little slant, a little bend to them, but I think that's the way they're made. And I don't really know what side is what. Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's just pop it on and see. No instructions, no paperwork inside the box. Uh, you're kind of on your own in that regard. Battery bay right there on the bottom. Get this wiring harness together. Okay, I'll wire it up. Lots of pat cheap uh, cheap styrofoam, so there is, uh, unfortunately, that means there are little remnants of styrofoam everywhere. My fiance is probably gonna shoot me for that. Like I said, this guy is heavy, so I'm trying to be careful about putting the weight on until I figure out exactly how it's supposed to go in. There are uh, some screw holes in the side right here. I'm going to have to double check and make sure there wasn't any hardware. It came with this guy to keep them locked in place. It would definitely be wise to, uh, to drop a screw in there. Overall guys, I'd say this thing is looking pretty damn good. I, uh, I'm very, very happy. I'm excited to get it powered up and get all the electronics tested, but just uh, in terms of detail, oh, let me come around here. Just in terms of detail on this guy, he looks pretty good. And like I said, the build quality seems solid. I do have something a little weird going on with one of these little, uh, this little piston guy down here. It's a little loose. I'm gonna have to look into that. See if I can't get it torqued up, but uh, let me get him cleaned up, put together the rest of the way, get power uh, running, get some batteries in him, and then I'll power him up and get some shots of him. Damn. The switch is right down there. You can see that. Come around here. I was hoping for uh, a little more pattern in the eyes. The eyes have kind of a, uh, a flat uh, type finish to them, so there's no ridges, none of that awesome texture you get from the uh, uh, T600 bust, which looks great by the way, it's sitting in my office. But uh, it looks pretty good overall, looks pretty good. Teeth need work. Uh, I did have a little bit of trouble with this piston here, as you can see, it's still kind of loose. Uh, it's interesting how that goes together. The bottom, where this goes in, let's see if I can focus up here. Where this goes in, I had trouble because the base of this hole uh, was not properly cast. So that leaves this guy a little bit loose. This one over here, as you can see, is tight. Uh, I can still spin it, but it's pretty tight. So what I'm probably going to do is take the top of the bust off, shim this up where it's supposed to be, and put it back together. Not really a big deal, a little annoying, but uh, all things considered, not that big of a deal. So there, uh, there he is, guys. It's a killer piece. I cannot wait to get him up in my office and uh, maybe shoot some pics of him. Okay, fellas, we're heading to my office here, and uh, we're going to take a look at this guy. He is all put together. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. Um, I did I did end up leaving uh, that piston a little loose like that. I'll take a look at it later. Uh, I'm also going to touch up the teeth, as we discussed. The... Uh, the base, I'm going to finish. I started adding a little bit of detail paint work just to throw a little something extra at it. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is fire this guy up again. Let me reach around back here. Okay. So there he is. Again, you can see the eyes with that flat, uh, with the flat lens in there. 
Let's go over to the T600 for a sec. Let's see if I fire him up. You'll notice the, uh, the eyes have this great pattern to them, which does not exist on the uh, on the T800. But overall, I got to tell you, the piece looks great at my desk. The uh, the piece is just is just killer. I'm so stoked. I have to say, uh, the quality is better than I expected. They did a good job with the little paint details in here. If you look, they added some grime here and there. They added some black up in here and here. I mean, they filled it in. It's not like it's just chromed and they and they uh, left it. So overall, not too bad. One thing to note: the base is. I can't hear it. The base is hollow, uh, which was kind of a bummer. What that means is that the top section from about here, you know, down to about here is very heavy. That part comes off. The base is far lighter and hollow, which obviously uh, concerns me a bit considering the weight. Um, it's a little top heavy, so I would put it somewhere where it's safe. Mine's back against the wall for that exact reason. Overall, it's killer. Um, I'm going to put some picks up. You guys can take a look at those for a little more detail take a look at the pics and uh leave a few comments if you have any questions or anything i can answer for you all right talk to you guys